I'm worried about him uh, coming in and just invising inside the room. There he is. Ouch. Nice. Thanks, Troll. All right, we got 150 luck. Let's hope for something good from the Troll. Oh, a mystical gem. That's very nice. The mystical gem is one of the hottest items currently in Dark and Darker. And whenever I'm streaming on Twitch, I get asked these questions about it. What does a mystical gem do? How much is it worth? And where can I get my hands on one of those mystical gems? So I thought I'd make a quick video so you know everything there is to know about this item. Starting with what does it do? Well, it opens a stone door on High Roller Goblin Caves, which features a treasure hoard pile. A pile that drops four items every time you search it. You can search it up to 10 times and you can get legendaries and epic items from it. So it is very valuable for getting lots of gold and legendary items. Well, how much are these worth? Well, whenever I go to the market to try and sell my mystical gems, I see lots of sellers asking for a golden key as compensation. A golden key being another item which opens another treasure hoard room, but this time on high roller crypts. Uh, and the golden key has been used as a form of Bitcoin in Dark and Darker for a long time. Typically, it's worth about 1250 gold, but currently the prices are extremely inflated and people are asking up to 2000 gold for their golden keys currently. So for the sake of a thumbnail, I've decided that a mystical gem is worth less than a golden key and I've settled at 1500. But I suspect that as this season goes on, it will deflate in value. And how do I get a mystical gem? Well, you have to kill the cave troll on High Roller Goblin Cave. We unfortunately do not know what the drop rate of these mystical gems are, but I can tell you I've killed the cave troll over 100 times on High Roller, and I've only had two mystical gems drop so far. So it is potentially under 2% chance that you'll get a mystical gem. So let's take a mystical gem into a game of high roller let's loot the treasure hoard room and see what we can get and let's determine whether the mystical gem is currently worth using as a money making tool or if you should be holding onto them and treating them as a form of currency worth maybe around 1500 gold currently <laughs> he's gonna see it no don't see it you're loaded dude unfortunately one of these players has seen us with the uh, the mystical gem so we might need to to bail on this actually let's not risk it i, I don't want to go for it now that he's seen me, I don't want to go for it. Sitting in the, the gold hoard room when trying to loot stuff, knowing that a player can, knows that you have it. If he knows where it is. Oh, scary. Oh, but I spawned on it. I have to go for it, don't I? You get a spawn like this, you have to go for it, man. Oh, this is scary. I don't know how I feel. I feel sick. 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 We have to go for it, though. It's serendipitous. It's serendipitous. You have to. You get a spawn like this. You have to. Right, let's uh, let's do it. Okay, we're doing this. We're doing this. We're doing it. We're doing it. Don't hurt me. I don't actually know how to deal with spear guys, <laughs> if I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> All right, here it is. This is the, uh, the stone door. It opens the gold pile chest. What do we get? We got a quarter staff purple. Not great, unfortunately. But now we have the treasure hoard. We get to search all day long. Hopefully for something good. Hopefully for something good. <laughs> oh, we have to hope that that rogue that saw us with the mystical gem does not come for it. Oh, dude, I actually feel sick. <laughs> all right. Oh my God, that's nice. Okay, let's just put this here for now. Very nice start. Very nice start. We got some golds. Dude, this feels like such a gamble. Oh, look, the circle's not good. I thought the circle was going to be closer. 
Ugh. I need two trolls blood for this. Maybe I can stand a little bit closer. stand here we went back turned fantastic this is exactly what i needed i'm not in zone am i oh it's rough dude maybe there's a spot in here that i can stand oh this is scary we should have uh bailed i just don't know the the thing good enough should have probably checked before i've limited my slots massively here yeah we, we didn't get very good luck at all holy moly rough 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 gonna have to make room for that uh yes keep that for that for that for that for that okay that's fine how do i get out of this place is the question we're gonna have to learn. Hmm, we'll probably throw this armor as well. Yeah, it's not that great. I think we can do better than greens, can't we? Let's go. Another go. The good news is, is that once we have finished looting this and we've got some good stuff in our inventory, we can just start healing off any mob we come to. We've got magical healing on our build. So it's going to help us out here. I would highly recommend that if you are playing a slow class like a Warlock, that maybe you try and spend your uh, your keys on a, uh, a slightly faster class. We can go for, what, one more before the Troll's Blood ends? And then we're starting to sweat. And then we're starting to sweat. This is probably not worth using at the moment, though. I'm thinking it's probably not. Considering we have uh, way more in currency. All right. Let's just pick up what we can and let's go. Perfect. If only I could, uh, if only I could have him stand still for me. Oh, that would be perfect. Open that up. Ooh, don't hit me though. I'm relying on you. Oh dear. That is no bueno. <laughs> don't get stuck. You have to crouch. What a pain. Oh dear. Oh dear. Let's go. I need something to feed off of. There we go. I am a hungry man. Go. We're free. We are free of our traps. But free to run into more players. I would suggest, I would think. Are you going to break the door for me? Yes, you shall. All right. And a portal. Salvation. But was it worth it, chat? I don't think it was. Ouch. I'm thinking this wasn't worth it. Should we use our mystical gems? No, I think we should save them for currency. That's the lesson we've learned today, if any. Oh, right. Oh, okay. You know what? Maybe you just find a rogue and it makes it slightly worth it. Makes it slightly more worth it. <laughs> All 
Alrighty. We can uh, drop that by green. Beautiful. There's a wizard in here. And a rogue. He's going to take mine instead. Nope, he's not that smart. <laughs> what do you got? Ooh, a Rundle Dagger. Lovely. Alright, I think we just exit now. We've fucked around. Yeah, we fucked around. We're not about to find out. <laughs> oh dear. So, what have we bought? What do we got? Is it worth our time in the room with a very unfavorable spawn and a forced open? Ooh, what's that? 747 gold. A purple quarter staff, which has really good stats, like genuinely really good stats, but I don't think anyone will want to buy it. <laughs> Agility gloves, which don't have great stuff, a fox pendant and a rat pendant and a crease stack which has rubbish stats oh yeah i think save your mystical gems guys they're probably going to become a new currency i mean maybe run them oh we have a gem necklace never mind sell the gem nexus for 34 gold all of a sudden you've made 800 gold straight up no it's worth it now <laughs> let me know do you guys think that they're just a currency or are you going to take them into your goblin cave high rollers and risk it for the chocolate biscuit? Let me know.